Meng Hung Wei headed an organization whose job included looking for wanted people. 13 days after he vanished, China's government has now confirmed he's here. It broke its silence on the case a few minutes after midnight on Sunday, a terse statement appearing on the website of the country's anti-corruption watchdog, confirming Meng was under investigation. The next time he appears will almost certainly be in court, which is also where we last saw the man who'd once been Meng's boss, Zhao Yongkang. Zhao had been in charge of China's vast security network. He was jailed for life for corruption three years ago. His demise, like Meng's, is probably connected to the anti-corruption campaign begun by President Xi Jinping more than five years ago. That's culminated in the punishment and jailing of hundreds of thousands of low and high-ranking officials. Meng's downfall may be a sign of a power struggle, says one analyst. We don't know exactly what's going on, but things like this don't happen in the absence of stress. And, and clearly right now, China blackening its reputation across the world. This has got to be extraordinary infighting. His wife, Grace, remains in Lyon under police protection. She didn't want to show her face when she read a statement to journalists just shortly before her husband resigned from Interpol. The last message she received from her husband was an emoji of a knife. Also, I can't see my husband. We are always connected by heart. He will support me doing this. The matter belongs to the fairness and justice. The matter belongs to the international community. The matter belongs to the people of my motherland. She has no plans to return to China and will likely seek asylum in France. Meng's resignation as the first Chinese head of Interpol is a reflection of the seriousness of the case now being made against him. It's being handled by the National Supervision Office, which investigates public officials accused of corruption. And given the justice system in China is controlled by the Communist Party, there will likely be just one outcome to this long process. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Beijing.